Hey guys, it's Heidi with the Osborne Experience coming to you from the minivan because this was the only way that I was going to get this done today. So I'm in the minivan at the grocery store parking lot. Gonna do a peek inside a book review. Listening to some Yonce. Alright, so getting to why we're here. <gasps> Look what I got. Periodic table book. I'm so excited to show this to you. So this just came out. This book is $14.99 and has 125 flaps. And the reason I like it is because um, you don't need to know anything about the periodic table yet um, in order to understand this book because it walks you through it. So you'll see that it starts out with what is the periodic table. And it tells you all about what an element is, and that it was derived by Dmitry Mendeleev. And it says that each element has its own personality, um, how it looks and behaves. It goes into what an atom is made up of and subatomic particles, which is awesome. Some things are made of atoms from just one element. Diamond is entirely made out of carbon. It goes into some jewelry. Most elements prefer sticking together um, in a mixture, so it goes over mixtures as well. Then it breaks down how the periodic table um, is set up. It goes over uh, the alkali metals and how they're extremely reactive. It talks about the transition metals. Um, it gets into um, the halogens. Oh, you can't even see it. And the noble gases. Um, and even down here um, takes you into the lanthanides and the actinides. And it talks about how some elements on the periodic table um, have a different chemical symbol um, that then that matches their name. And tungsten is one of my favorite one of these. Um, tungsten's symbol is W. And that's because tungsten used to be called wolfram. So the W stands for um, the wolfram. And it says W comes from the German word wolfram, but in English I'm called tungsten. So there's a bunch of those on the periodic table. It gives you little tidbits of info, like 92 elements are found in nature. Well, look at this, I haven't opened this one yet. Ooh, what is that? How cool is that? Elements 113 to 118 were officially discovered in 2015 and named in 2016. Lift the flap to see them. How fun is that? There's a chance that more than 118 elements exist, but they haven't been discovered yet. Love it! And it also breaks down for you um, what the numbers mean. The atomic number is how many protons. It goes over the atomic mass. Um, and it shows you that. And it also um, goes over how it's ordered in terms of atomic number. A lot of people don't know that, that the periodic table um, is ordered by number. And then look how fun this is. A lot of elements not found in nature are named after famous scientists. Lift the flap to see who they are. There's um, Enrico Fermi for fermium. Um, there's Einstein for Einsteinium. Look at, we've even got the beautiful and talented Miss Curie for Curium, and there's a few others too. Um, elements that fizz and bang. It goes over, how cool is this? Um, that there are pure elements that color fireworks because they burn certain colors and it shows you what they are. Um, cesium is stored in bottles of oil because when it is exposed to air, baby, it blows up. There's hard, shiny metals and it goes over some really cool stuff about them. For instance, mercury, I don't know if uh, lots of people know this, but um, if you've heard of Mad Hatter, it says mercury used to, used to be used to make felt hats, um, but people who made the hats often got mercury poisoning, which gave them wild mood, string, mood swings. It was called Mad Hatter disease. 
So if you think of the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland. Iridium is named after Iris, the Greek goddess of rainbows, because it makes brightly colored salts. So fun. We've got soft, dull metals, um, such as thallium, um, which used to be known as the poisoner's poison. It was colorless, tasteless, odorless, and almost impossible to detect. And she's drinking some tainted coffee right there. So fun. In the 19th century, people deliberately ate mildly poisonous pills made out of antimony to clean out their digestive systems. What? Yeek. Then we have the elements of life, the non-metals. Only one type of animal can survive without oxygen. Microscopic sea creatures called Lorisifera. Lorisifera? Lorisifera? Lorisifera. Look at that. There's Laura. We don't need you, oxygen. So you're not only learning about um, the elements, but you're learning about some other really cool stuff too. When hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen combine, they form a compound called sulfuric acid, an acid so strong it can dissolve rock. We've got solids, liquids, and gases, and it goes over what on the periodic table. Um, is found in that state, all the different elements. So cool. Um, we have the noble gases and the colors um, that they shine when they are um, excited with electricity. So much, I can't show you all of it. So good though. And then finally, it talks about the radioactive elements. These elements were all discovered in one quarry in a small village called Euterbia, Yitribi? Yitribi? In Sweden. Well, that's why it's called yttrium, which I never knew. New flat problems. And I have no fingernails. Oh! Can't get it. Got it. Um, yttrium lasers are so powerful and bright they can be beamed to the moon and bounce back. Okay, we've got something that's top secret. Oh, can't show you. It's top secret. Um, we've got some cool radioactive warning, um, flaps. Kids are going to love this. What a fun way to teach them, um, about the periodic table. This is something that we shouldn't wait until high school to teach kids. Elements and atoms are what everything is made up of. Teach them young, get them fascinated in the world around them, down to the teeniest, tiniest particle. This book is going to be a huge hit. It is recommended for ages seven and above, but don't wait. Um, I'll be reading this at bedtime to my two and my five-year-old, and they'll find things um, in it that they love. So don't wait. Thank you for watching with me. You can find this book and more at my website, theosbornexperience.com, and you can find me on Facebook at the Osborne Experience with Heidi. Now I need to go buy some produce. It's sitting here for 45 minutes. It's time to go. Um, oh, I just poked myself in the nose with the corner. Oh, that really hurt. It's about the closest I get to the club anymore.